Yo, what's going on, y'all? Back with y'all with another video. Today, if you already read the title, Tragic Day, man. Well, this actually happened a couple of weeks ago, but it's tragic that I gotta make this video because I didn't think to have to do this so soon. That car has been like hell. This is one of the best cars I have until recent, like I say four months. The recent four months on this car has been crazy. I don't know like what it is. Even this car, like even my Corvette, this car has been giving me hell as well. So has the BMW, but that's another video that I'm gonna make after this. But the Camaro, if you did see the title, you already know. The transmission, man. Transmission has not fully went out. One thing, this fucking tail light, this shit fell out, bro. This shit fell out. And this one is already on its way falling out. I need some new fucking tail lights. But this car has been just tragic for me, bro. I still drive this shit because it still runs. And I can still drive in like first, second, and fifth. Or first, second, and fourth, I guess you should say. But this car has been hell. I'm about to drive it right now and show you guys how it's actually running. I'll tell you guys too, this car, it should be fixed by this weekend. I already have the radiator and the water pump for it. I just have to do the work, which is not actually hard. It's actually pretty simple. The water pump is pretty easy to get to and the radiator, y'all have seen me do that already. So yeah. All right, I had to get the goddamn key, but let's start this thing up. Let it warm up a little quickly before I go to the damn store. But uh, look at how dirty this damn car is, man. This car is dirty as hell. Like, fuck. Inside is clean, though. <laughs> I still got to put the cover back onto that shit. But rear seats and shit is still gone. I still need to get some fucking carpets. I mean, some fucking, what's it called for this? But... Yeah, everything is still the same. I'm gonna let this thing warm up. I'm gonna show you guys how this shit has been acting because this shit has been crazy. One day I drove like probably like 25 minutes away from my house. It was like on a weekend. Luckily, it wasn't like traffic or nothing, hella crazy or nothing. But I drove and was on a freeway. And I started to smell like transmission fluid. If you live in the Bay Area, you know there's hella bumps and dips in a road. And you know how that shit could get, especially on the freeway. Towards like Oakland and fucking like Berkeley and all that. Like, you know for sure. It's hella fucking bumps and dips in a road. And I think when I was out there, I might have busted the busted the transmission because every single time that i drive i smell the transmission fluid i feel like that shit got like a hairline crack in it or something i don't know it could be leaking from like the the bottom of it i don't know but i'm pretty sure that's what happened that's the only thing i could think of because the transmission never was slipping or anything when i was driving it until that day that day it was just like acting like it didn't want to it was acting like it didn't want to go so I came home, came home, and once I came home, as soon as I got out the car, that's all I smelled was transmission fluid. When I was like about to get off the fucking freeway too to get home, uh, the car, that's when it started like slipping, like hella crazy. Like second, it was just second gear though. So like when I take off, it drives drive smooth. And then after that, like right after second gear, boom. I just feel, like it's slipping and then like it's just revving the car it's not even like going forward so i know for a fact transmission is going out wasn't expecting to do this this soon but i'm definitely not putting another automatic transmission in here 
I'm gonna tell you that now. There's not, that's no, it's not possible. It's not happening. Another automatic transmission is not going back in here. So I've been looking for six speed swaps so I could just knock that out because that's the main thing that I want to do is six speed swap this thing. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do since I have to take the transmission out. Might as well just swap everything. I've been trying to see like the best prices on the six speed swap. I did find one with all the shit that you need, all the shit that, well, the shit that I need. And it came up to, I think it was 26 or 2700 online. I forgot what it was. I think it was M MMG Performance or something like that. Something like that. I can't remember what it was called, but they the ones that I did see. They had the full used. It was used 6B, 4, 6B swap. So it come with the transmission and all the shit that I need to swap. I think the only thing it didn't come with was probably like the center. I think the center console. That's it. But I can easily find the center console, of course. So that'd be pretty cool to get but i'm definitely gonna take this transmission out i might have to do it here to be honest i could easy i know how to do that so that's pretty easy taking the transmission out so that's easy to do but i've never six speed swapped a car so that'd be a tax for me for sure i might have to have somebody help me do that i could for sure do like the pedals the the lines and shit and for sure put the transmission in i already know how to do that but putting like the other shit in, like the clutch and shit. I hate doing clutch. I've done it before on like my, like a Honda that I had, but that shit is like nerve wracking to me. So I might not do that part, but yeah, enough rambling. Let me close my garage and let me get in the car and show you guys what this thing is doing. I'm gonna drive probably like five minutes away to the store and then five minutes back and I should, you guys should see what's actually happened when I just put it in drive and which gears are slipping and everything. All right, so I'm in the car. It's hot as fuck, but actually I'm gonna roll this shit down a little bit. It might, it might, might get muffled just a little bit, but it should be fine. But yeah, let's start this driving. I'm gonna show you guys what it's doing when I put it just in drive. It should be a fun drive. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything while I'm just driving like through the neighborhoods. I don't think, because I don't think I get up to speed enough, but we're about to see right now. This shit has been like throwing me off that this happens like so soon. It made me kind of upset, but give me a second. All right. Now that we're out of my neighborhood, gonna get on this main road and we're gonna see what this thing do. Well, I know what it's gonna do. <laughs> Cause this thing, <coughs> it's not like hella crazy or anything, but I literally just don't have second gear. That's what it is. I literally just don't have second gear, but I'm about to see how crazy this shit is. And I might have to roll the window down just a little more so y'all can hear like it's slipping because y'all might not be able to hear with the windows all the way up. So I'm gonna wait for this traffic to go and, and I'll show you guys. So somebody is riding my ass. People just don't have patience at all. Do y'all hear that? That shit is literally just revving. It's not okay. I can go now. Look at this nigga, bro. Look at this nigga. Yeah, damn, my nigga. You just going to a red light, bro. But I couldn't really show y'all right there. But it, I don't know if y'all was able to hear that it was like revving. It wasn't like going. But I'm gonna take a longer way home. I'm gonna take a longer way home when I go back, but. Here at Walmart, I gotta get some things and then I'll continue the video. I'm about to show y'all exactly what it's doing. Let me show y'all. Here we go. Y'all listening? It sounds smooth. I'm gonna wait till this car passes me. So I don't pass. Alright, here we go. Alright, it sounds smooth right now, right? Like, I don't know. It's 
like trying to rail past that shit, but it's not. Hold up. Let me slow down real quick. Right now, it's trying to stay in third gear, but it's not like fully in third gear. It's like slipping. I don't know if y'all hear that. It's definitely slipping though. It's definitely slipping. Hope y'all can hear me because this window is open. Kind of windy, I guess, but that's me getting off the gas and shit though, but I gotta come to a stop or something for it to do it again. Okay, all right, it's a red light, red light, red light. Red light. It should work now. I don't want it to work, but it should do it now. Okay, see, now it's not, it's not doing that shit at all. Like, I'm literally, I'm damn near flooring it. And I'm not going anywhere. This shit is fucking tripping. <laughs> Get over. This shit is fucking tripping. It's like I got it in first gear and that shit just won't go past first gear. But watch when I, when I come to a stop. When I come to a stop and let it... Hold up. I'm going to try to put it in third and then put it back in dry. Let's see if that shit just revs now and it doesn't fucking go at all. I literally have to stop, slow down, let it get back in second gear, and then I'll be able to go again. But let's see right now. A second. There you go. See, now it's not. All right, it shifted to third when I let off the gear. And you see? What the fuck? Damn. Bad for my goddamn Camaro, man. I love this damn car. I hate that this happens so, like, so to the point where I can't really do too much right now, especially with winter coming. Unless I get like a, a something to go over the car so I can work on the car. Like, see, it's just revving right now. It's literally just revving. Now, if I let off. And let it kick into gear. It, it, it'll do it, but then I'll be able to get back into gear. See, now I'm in third. That's hella weird, bro. I don't know if, like, I need to change the fucking transmission fluid, put more transmission fluid. I checked the transmission fluid. I even filled it up some. So, I don't know. Transmission damn near gone. It was worse, to, it's worse than that, but I don't know why it's acting like this right now. Like, every time I usually try to get into third gear, it'll do that. Like, every single time I try to get into third gear, it'll do that right there. So I'm confused on why it's trying to act like it wanted to into third gear, but I think it's because it's, they know I'm recording. You know I'm recording, huh? But it's hella weird though. Like, that shit is worse than that for sure. I'm gonna, show you, I'm gonna try to go and show y'all right now. I'm gonna try to floor it when I go right here so it just instantly do not go in gear. I'm not gonna kick out of gear and go into gear. I'm gonna just try to let it go, like all the way through. Hopefully it shows y'all because I'm not driving this shit far. I'm, I'm already on my way back home. So after I show y'all, I'm gonna just cut back to me being at home and show y'all how this shit been acting because this shit is crazy. And then I gotta fix that goddamn that Corvette because now if I can't drive this, I don't have no car to drive. So I have to fix that Corvette and get it tagged in a matter of a month or two for sure. All right, here we go right here. Let's see, let's see. Able to hear that, 
and hope y'all ever to hear when I'm on the gas and when I'm not on the gas and then be able to hear when it's just revving and when it's just like fucking revving hella high and not switching gears because that's damn near all it's doing let's just try to show y'all again right here there you go it's literally just revving up I had to get off of that shit because that shit sound like destruction but yeah transmission gone <laughs> Transmission gone. Fuck. And I gotta go up this hill. And I can't see shit out this window. It's all good though. I'm gonna fix this motherfucker. I promise. Six speed swap. I promise you I'm not doing a goddamn automatic in here again. I promise y'all. But I'm gonna let y'all know when I get back on. Alright. So. I am. Back home. Let me get my snack. Got some chips and some cheeses. I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah. And as me getting out the car right now, with me getting out the car right now, I can smell a lot of transmission fluid. A lot of it. Yeah. This shit is just. It's done. Transmission is done for. I should have fixed my park. Because that shit is sticking out hella much. Oh. Uh, Hell yeah. I'm gonna fix that really quickly. Open this garage too. All right, so yeah. Just wanted to update you guys on the car. Let you guys know <clears throat> probably why I haven't been posting much. Cause I don't have any content, I'm not gonna lie. But I say by January, <clears throat> January uh, or even December, I would say in between there, this shit should be six B swapped for sure. I do have a video on this that I do want to tell y'all about. So I haven't been posting on this either, but I will say this car is technically not mine anymore. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to update y'all on that and I had to do it for the video, y'all. If you guys have any questions or want to tell me anything if y'all know what that could be other than it just the transmission is fucking slipping or whatever let me know because i don't know what to think i'm not really a transmission guy but i know i need to get that motherfucker out of there if that motherfucker acting like that but thanks for watching the video if y'all did watch it to the end so appreciate y'all and if you guys haven't already please like comment and subscribe it really does help the channel so please like the video because that it just brings more people to the channel you know it pushes it out in the, algor the algorithm so please please like the video and if you're watching all my videos and not subscribing that is crazy to me 90 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed i know that's like damn near everybody channel but let's change that let's help each other grow man please subscribe to the channel Trust me, a lot of stuff is coming, especially for next year. So please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And like I said, the vet is next. I'm going to fix that this weekend. So, yeah, I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Peace.